What's going on everyone? Thanks for checking out this video. In this one I'm going to be showing you guys 5 unmarked secret locations and some of these might be helpful for you in the beginning of the game or they might just be useful for you in general. You don't have to be at the beginning of the game. And also some of these might be new to you and you had no idea that they even existed on Fallout 4. So to start this off, in the beginning at Sanctuary there's actually a cellar that you can enter behind one of these buildings. It's definitely a nice beginning spot if you ever decide to create a new character definitely remember to come to this root cellar. It has a bunch of goodies that you could use to help you on your journey. Whether or not you want to sell all of this or maybe use some of this, it's up to you. So the next one is right by this location. It's actually an underwater secret stash. It's literally right behind Sanctuary, as you can see right here on the map. I guess the best way to look out for where this secret stash is under the water, look for this crashed boat. When you find this, just dive down into the water and you'll find another crashed boat, except this one will have the secret stash. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And you up next is actually a raider graveyard. Um, and it's not marked on the map. As you can see, it's right around this area. And once you get here, you'll actually see a raider looking like he's reminiscing at someone's grave. So yes, it seems that raiders have feelings too. This is a very small raider's graveyard, but it still shows that they have feelings. They're not brutal, heartless, violent people like we see them most of the time. Anyways, up next I have you guys in Explosive Secret. This is also unmarked. All of these that I'm going to be showing you will be unmarked. And this won't be the only unmarked locations that I'll show you. I'll also provide you with other videos that you guys can check out. Anyways, if you come to this location, you actually find a semi-truck with a huge nuclear bomb on the back of it. And there's a terminal that can activate this bomb. But be warned, when you activate the terminal, be prepared to run. Because you'll have a few amount of seconds to get away from this. Anyways, up next I have you guys a preservation center, I believe it's pronounced Pulowski Preservation Center or Pulowski Preservation Center, something like that. Anyways, if you come to this location right around here on the map, you'll actually find this preservation center and as you can see this didn't really work out quite well, but there is some loot that you can pick up around this area and it seems to be randomly generated. So. The loot that you see on my screen might not be the same case for you. But as you can see, it's a pretty interesting location. It looks as if they tried to survive the nuclear warfare. I'm not sure on the exact story behind this place, but as you can see once again, this really didn't work out quite well. The next unmarked location is right by Vault 81. This place has a lot of pretty good loot that you can pick up, especially farming resources. And there's also Nuka-Cola Quantum Bottle and a Nuka Cherry as well. And if you unlock the door in the back of this secret roadside store, you'll have some more farming resources as well. So this is a great spot to stock up. There should have been a trader's body as well behind the desk of this place, but for some reason, it didn't pop up for me. Maybe it'll pop up for some of you guys. There should be, though, a trader's dead body inside here. And, well, that's just some more goodies for you to loot. But yeah, guys, I guess that's about wrapping up these five unmarked locations for you all. I will be providing you guys once again with more secret locations in the future. So stay tuned for that. If you haven't, be sure to subscribe. Also, if you found this video enjoyable, it's much appreciated if you would take a little bit of your time and leave a like. Hey, you can leave a dislike too, you're entitled to your own opinion, it's whatever guys, but thank you all for watching this video, this has been your rifle, and as always remember to stay safe out there everybody, and of course, don't sleep in pee. Peace. 10 Creepy Locations in Fallout 4 Number 10 This place is an unmarked location in Concord, and it's not too difficult to find. When first entering on the first floor, you will notice some skeleton 